Hey there, YouTube land, and I just finished watching uh, the first one in this uh, Scream Factory double feature, which you guys should really get. After all, if you're a vampire or horror fan, you must have Dracula's soul brother, Blackula. And uh, this kind of starts back in the, uh, that's a really creepy scene though, when you just sound the background there, with the uh, vampire girl. I'll tell you that one a little bit. Spoilers in this one, by the way. There's lots of spoilers. If you haven't seen Blackula, go watch Blackula first, and then you really... Seriously, guys, pick this up. It's really, really good. Uh, we got an auto commentary in the first film. We got an interview for the second film. And uh, I haven't watched the second film yet. I'm going to do a separate review for that one after I watch that one. So, Mama Walde is the uh, is a, is a prince. And uh, his wife's name is... What's his wife's name again? Hint? Luva. Luva? Yes. Luva. So they're going to see... They're, they've gotten to Europe to see Count Dracula. And it starts right there, but basically at Count Dracula's uh, dinner table. And he wants to abolish the slave trade. And, uh, because uh, Momo Alde is kind of like this uh, really uh, like aristocratic uh, prince and he's, you know, he's forward thinking. Dracula, however, is not forward thinking. And this Dracula is an, is an he's a mean dude. He's like, this is a really cruel Dracula. Uh, and he only gets like a little bit of screen time, but he does a really good job of what he has. Uh, so pretty much he insults Momoade and tells him that he, although he's not going to help him with the slave trade, he would gladly take on Momoade's wife <laughs> as one of his slaves, which he thinks is a uh, as a compliment, leading to uh, the first fantastic piece of line where he's basically, "Are you ill, sir?" And he talks so cool. This guy, the actor in this. William Marshall was like a really, uh, was a trained, uh, like Shakespearean actor and really comes out in this film. They really chose well. This is a, uh, there's a lot of crazy, silly stuff that I want to talk about in this movie, but, uh, don't get me wrong. This is, out of all the films, the horror films that came out that are black exploitation horror films, this really is the best. This is the cream of the crop. Uh, that being said, there's lots of cool, cheesy stuff that we're going to talk about. So, and first off, you got to know this. It was done in the 70s, and uh, it was a different time, like, politically. So there's a couple things there that uh, you may not fly as well in today's society as it would back then. There's uh, some words that are used, which aren't exactly kosher to use right now. But remember, this is 1970s America. First off, i got to give a shout-out to my boy Vince, I mean, it's impressive, I would say, but uh, Gordon Pinson. Gordon Pinson is a uh, actor from here, actually from Newfoundland, uh, here in St. John's, and uh, he's, he's a very famous actor. You know, he was actually in a Academy Award-nominated film a couple years back, and uh, but this was his early start. And he plays a lieutenant uh, for the Los Angeles Police Department because Blackwood takes place in uh, L.A. Now you've got to understand something. Uh, I don't know if how well it comes across here, but uh. I have a Newfoundland accent, not as pronounced as some Newfoundland accents that you you would see if you were like visiting the area. There's some really strong ones. Gordon Pinson has one of those really strong ones. He's got a great speaking voice, but he, the Newfoundland accent really comes through. So, him as a Los Angeles police detective, a lieutenant actually, uh, there's some kind of unintentional humor there. But he's a fantastic actor. He does a great job in the role that he does. Uh, we have a. Uh, just such incredible, we have an incredible cast. We have these two, uh, I guess, homosexual characters that uh, kind of like they go to and they buy Castle Dracula. They're like uh, like antique dealers and they buy everything and they bring it all back. And the one thing they're really excited about is that they got this coffin. And one of them is basically going to take the coffin and make it into like the, uh, the bedroom for the guest room, the bed for the guest room. It's going to be kind of like this kind of really cool thing, like, you know, kind of kitschy type thing to do. Now, uh, basically, they knock the lock off that. And as in most vampire movies, one of them gets their arm, like, gets, gets bloody, cuts himself. And, of course, this aw awakens Black Kill, who, of course, can uh, escape now because, well, the lock's off the coffin. That's, that's where Dracula's locked. Because if I mentioned this fact, Dracula's such an asshole that not only does he turn him to a vampire, he locks him into a coffin to basically like suffer for eternity and uh and then he locks his wife 
Mumbala's wife into the. What's the Mumbala? Mama Wadi. Is there a Mumbala in this movie? I don't think there is. Mama Wadi. Anyway, what is Mumbala? That's from another movie. No, it is. Uh, <clears throat> he locks Mama Wadi's wife into the, into, in the crypt, basically, with him. So, basically, she has a live out the rest of her life uh, listening to the agonizing screams of her uh, husband's turn to a vampire and stop the cop and that she can't get him out of. Yeah, Jack is a dick. So, uh, he's awake. It's Los Angeles and for some reason, which uh, I don't quite get, zero culture shock for uh, Black Yard. He just wakes up and let me and puts on his cape and uh, takes his suit that I don't know, he got from Sears because this is not an expensive uh, suit uh, from back in the day. And uh, he just walks around. I mean, he just pretty much walks around in his cape. Nobody, like, really says anything except for one guy. Who's, who basically, his entire part of the film is say, he's one strange dude. Which he says over... That's, that's it. That's what he says. He's shown twice in the movie. He, he says it, and he offers to buy a, a black bliss cape. I'm serious. He really does. Uh, and of course, like in these films, the uh, one of the the gay black character, Afro character, basically, uh, I think his name is Bobby. Something like that. Bobby, right? Something like that. Anyway, we're going to go with that. <clears throat> well, his friend, uh, basically a uh, sister, looks exactly like, I don't know, this is going to be a real big surprise, the, uh, the wife of I gotta get this right. Mumawalde. I keep saying Mumbale, and that, that that means something somewhere. It's from a movie, but Mumawalde, who is uh, Kent, uh, Blackula. Now, originally Blackula was supposed to have a name like John Brown or Jim Brown or something like that, and that uh, William Marshall was like, that does not sound dignified, and I don't like that. And he came up with the name Mumawalde, which is really a cool idea. It's kind of like this is after all, he's an African prince, and he should have this kind of like. Very uh, dignified, very <clears throat> like African name, and it really works. I mean, his uh, he does a great job in the, like playing the uh, playing the vampire, and like for some reason I like don't know why this happens either. But when he turns in, into like Blackula, he gets random like hair <laughs> on his face, like really bushy eyebrows all of a sudden come up, and like there's hair right here and right here, like you can see it right here. So like. That's not on him all the time, by the way. That's just when he was in, in, in black uniform. Other times, he's just walking around like he's pretty smug and he's, he's an aristocrat. So he does kind of have this kind of air of a, like, I'm better than you type of thing. And that shows through. That's kind of what at sometimes uh, stirs his attacks. So there's a cab driver that kind of like he's running across the road to uh, catch this girl named Tina, who looks just like his dead wife. And uh, he gets hit by the cab and she makes a mistake of calling him boy. And uh, that, in theory, it's Momo, Momo Yeah, I got to remember the name. And uh, so he turns her into a vampire. She's actually the creepiest vampire in the movie. She comes off at the beginning of the film, like kind of like, almost like comic relief, like really over the top comic relief. So you see that like, freak looking vampire girl that you see in the background of this one here. I've left on the, uh, this is the uh, opening thing for Black Hill. So guys, that's what you're going to see. I'm going to turn it on and choose Black Hill. A bonus feature there, so. The Black Book Photo Gallery and a Black Book Trailer, which is great. Also, it's commentary as well, but you got to go through the uh, audio setup for that one. <clears throat> anyway, there's a there's a doctor, and it's kind of his Van Helsing character, and his name is uh, is Gordon. Yeah, uh, not a like Doctor Gordon Thomas, I think it's like, who this is. It, is it Gordon Thomas, right? Yeah. And so, pretty much, he's out. He figures out pretty early on that uh, there's a vampire going around, and even though he's met Mumawadi, he. He knows he's kind of strange, but he really hasn't picked up on the fact he's a vampire yet. Now, he does pick it up on pretty early. Now for the unintentional hilarity of the film. Uh, this is a really action-packed vampire film. It pretty much doesn't leave any room. That, there's no fat on this film. Uh, it's edited extremely uh, tight. So the film actually runs at a really fast and rapid pace. Kind of like her right there, except she's running like in slow motion type of thing. Uh, there's some hilarious scenes in this film. Uh, we have things like the uh, 
Okay, they go into where they think uh, Mumuade's uh, tomb is at, like his coffin's going to be. And it's a trap. Mumuade set a trap for them. And he locks the door behind them type of thing. He kind of closes it behind them. And uh, then all these vampires come out. So <laughs> the homosexual vampire comes out with kind of limp wristed. But yeah, I, I did not make that up. He kind of does that. Um, <laughs> he kind of do that. And uh, the, the English word for cigarette is used many times to describe this certain people in this film. Uh, do not take offense to it. It is not meant to be in, a, in an offensive way. Uh, it's just the language that was used around that time period. Uh, Anyway, so they're in this place filled with vampires, and they pick up these, uh, oh God, lanterns, like these old lanterns filled with like oil. So they're, I guess, they're the most combustible lanterns you'll ever see. Because all they do, literally, guys, is they throw the lanterns at people and they burst into flames automatically. There's no, like, they don't, there's no match or anything like that. They just throw it at people, they burst into flames. <laughs> Even if they throw it next to a, a vampire. I swear to God, they throw it next to a vampire and be they're like this. There's one scene where it's a crate on fire. And it goes back to the people and it goes back to the vampire. Now, the vampire's on fire. The crate's not. But the vampire's now totally on fire. Uh, there's a bunch of this. There's one sequence when the final vampire in that scene where he basically takes a, a stick, a stick kind of like a, a broken off a stick, and, and he leaps towards him. And it's hilarious. It's fantastic you've got to see this scene he's like doing this whole like jumping towards this secret i loved it i totally loved it one of the vampires that gets turned like gets burnt you see them like throw it at him and then a bam huge ass fire suit that's like two times bigger than the guy that you just saw all of a sudden is there and he got the fire suit and of course he had to use a fire suit but it's just hilarious the way that's done um uh, I don't want to tell the ending of the film. It's just really fun. You're going to really enjoy this movie. Uh, there are things in this. This is it's from the 70s and they got like different terminology than we would use today. Uh, don't let that... Like, it's really, really fun. You're really going to have a ball with this movie. It's never going to bore you. And you, This is something you will watch over again. And I've got another one to watch in here yet. Called Scream Black to Scream. And this one here has... Well, it has Pam Greer. And... Uh, I love Pam Greer. Unfortunately, because this is a black film and they're uh, pretty uh, pretty tame actually compared to many, I'm guessing we're not going to see uh, Pam Greer in her uh, in all her beauty as you will in other Pam Greer films, if you know what I mean, which you probably do. Uh, but it's really really cool. This is the inside cover for uh, the black to double feature. It's, I gotta say. I wasn't sure. I wanted to watch a movie, uh, but I uh, because I just got back from watching an awesome hockey game. If you're on my Facebook, you'll, uh, you'll see that. <clears throat> Sometimes we like to just go out and have fun. But amazing, 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 amazing. I loved Blackula. So get this one. If you don't have it, pick it up, order it, go to your store. Actually, you can go to your local store and get it, get it there. That's really cool to support like the uh, local establishments rather than just going to a Amazon, go to a store, man. If you got a movie store in your body, you can actually support and do that. Because so many of them are closed right now, and it's just ridiculous. Uh, Blackula, what do you think, Ken? I love it. She loves it. What's your favorite thing scene in Blackula? Uh, You've got to give me something. You have to give me something. Every time it turns into the very bad CGI bat. Oh, yeah. I forgot the bat. Yeah. It's a CGI, well, it's pre-CGI, uh, but it's a bat, like an animated bat, and it's a, uh, it's a bat, it's hilarious, the bat thing, she was like waiting for the bat scene, like this is something she saw when she was younger, and she was like, yes, the bat scene, and I'm like, yeah, we both really enjoyed this movie here, and I guess sometime soon we'll be watching the, the actual sequel, Scream, Black to Scream, and Greer should be fun, and I'll come on and read that one, so Blackula. Spend a night with uh, Mumuwalde and uh, learn more about uh, 
Count Dracula's soul brother. Dracula. Say hi to the Pin Lord in the sky. And my beautiful better half. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and uh be careful. Vampires bite. That's not my final line. You know what my final line is. What it always is. What time is it? I'm watching an hour and a half long va vampire film. I'm doing my review. It's relaxation time. It's time for tea. Go get Black Yellow. Just thank me for it. It's really that good.